In this video I will show you how to create a multi-dimensional or multi-word uh, filter in Microsoft Access. Uh, as you see we have here a, a list with products um, and I want that, that, that this filter um, f filters here is a filter field and this list should be reduced by this filter so when I type there like in Google uh, radar radar for example and video so the filter the list will uh, be reduced automatically or here like let's say uh, what it was a b c wherever there's a a uh, a s r that's multi-dimensional should be like this let's say radar and video that's that's okay radar video yeah so this is a small filter and uh, it should be the that uh, the filter should do the following sh as many words as you type in here uh, it should filter um, uh, enclose this uh, field uh, this field a little bit more uh, how will this be done so this is a little bit more complex we need in a, a filter field and inside the filter field uh, we have to write the uh, key up event and when we have created this one we should do the following we should uh, say ref uh, do the function refresh list uh, and please take the text of the with the parameter the text of the uh, actual uh, filter field and now when we are here in our uh, this is a, a list a, a function a function will be done if you type there private sub and then a name and then you say okay uh, optional with a optional by well uh, and this is a, a string parameter so this is the stuff which comes in in this function and then we would say okay at the beginning we make some init we say okay if the field if nothing nothing field is missing then the parameter is zero is nothing uh, it should be an empty string and if nothing is in there so if null is in there if nothing even a, even an empty string then make a, uh, something uh, an empty string that's initial part correction part on this stuff then we need the following f following stuff <coughs> we have to create an sql string sql string uh, which is always the same we say okay select uh, some fields these are the fields which we will see in our uh, in the front side. Select those fields in the front side. Uh, yeah. Ah, the break breakpoint is uh, the moment there. Uh, yeah. Uh, select. Yeah. Um, when you are in the fil filter field, these are the fields which you will see in the code select those fields and then from a table so if you have multiple tables you have to say which table and then uh, the, the last 20 years when i worked uh, it was always the same select fields separated by a comma and then um, the uh, table and then we have to do the following we have to split the f uh, the, the that stuff so when you are there we will say okay split this stuff into an array so if there is a, a product and radar then this will be two words and for each word word which we have uh, you have we have to check if it's if if it's not empty then do the following make a subsequence or a sequence which means uh, and um, and uh, f those fields all connected with a uh, um, with this and sign and should be like all connected fields behind all uh, all connected together with a like and then this is the uh, uh, string uh, um, a string in the SQL string which means okay if there's uh, there is a this field should be ABC for example and this is always written with the asterisk which means the word should be somewhere in inside there 
and then this uh, final apostrophe and uh, include it with this word. And then there's a bracket and a bracket and now all that stuff loops and makes a bracket with some uh, filter and uh, this is all connected with the AND so we have SELECT from table AND 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 then we uh, replace the first the first AND and we replace it with a WHERE in this case we have uh, two filters uh, in this uh, finally we have to say replace it by a WHERE and this is uh, done in here so you may say here replace it with a WHERE and then finally close that stuff and we should only replace the first the first end and all the other ends will be uh, the same okay and that's it and finally we say okay uh, push the result into the row source of the fields so this is when what we do here we will see when we are there in the field we will see here this the row source and we see all the stuff which we have written in our uh, in here in our code was simply uh, set in this field and then this field will be done so I'm filtering again product and radar and now the filter field uh, goes will be shorter and whenever you are here you may change something like this so this is the entrance when I'm back there I say ADD so uh, this is always the current record set and this is a subform. I have loaded this code on my website. You may use it for your own projects. And even if there's a download there, this is the download zip files for with the access database, use it or not. Uh, and if you have questions, ask me. And don't wonder on this point, uh, we have this the project will go further. This is a sub. Uh, query this will be explained in the following video